Hello, welcome back. One second. eBay buyer protection. I'm horrible at video editing, so I thought that would be a fun idea, and hopefully it didn't come across hokey. Uh, anyhow, thanks for tuning in again, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I know there are just a zillion videos out there on YouTube, and um, you know, just take your time to watch my video for five minutes a day. It, it's gratifying. And uh, thank you for watching. And I want to focus today's video on eBay buyer protection. Like I said in earlier in the video, absolutely worthless for the most case. Um, let's give a little backstory. From 2003 through 2000. Early 2009, late 2008, I was practically out of the hobby. I stopped buying, stopped collecting. I still have all my books. I have not sold one book yet, but I still have you know something like 13,000 books in the closets. And I will go into another video, perhaps, on why I left the hobby in 2003. That's deserved to be on its own. Um, on why it's comic book related, okay, but it deserves to be its own video. But anyhow, so in two thousand nine, early two thousand nine, when I decided to jump back into collecting and buying books again, um, I was leery of buying from anyone that has no return policy, as everybody should be. So I did not. Um, but I buy other items from eBay. Uh, that have no return policy. Things that you know, I know it's not a big deal, like uh, used toys for my sons, or just junk stuff. No big deal. Um, also, you know, like I said I boycott the hobby as well as eBay from two thousand three through two thousand nine. So I didn't touch eBay for six years. Anyhow, so I bought a few things, and. Um, on one occasion, I bought uh, an electronic device, like an Eus, um, I think it was an Eus uh, toaster oven or something like that. And the, it was no return policy. It was cheap. It was like 15 bucks or whatever. The guy shipped it to me. It was very poorly packed. There was no return policy. But when I received the box, it was all mangled up, broken, all that stuff. So I'm just like, oh man. What to do, you know? So I contacted eBay and said, "Well, you know, I know there's a no return policy, but he shipped it to me and it was all beat up. Doesn't work. Is there any way I can get some kind of return, get my refund?" And of course, they say, "Oh, you have buyer protection. I got my money back." So I'm like, "Wow, okay." So even when someone say no return policy. You know, they explained to me, and even if you read the fine print today, if the item is not as described, go through the system, you get your money back. So I'm like, okay, if that's the case, then maybe if I see a comic book that I like, I might take a chance. Bad idea. Don't do it. I did it for you. Learn from me. So. I bought, uh, I started to buy, you know, a few reader stuff, you know, nothing big dollars, you know, 10, 15 dollars, whatever it is. I'm like, okay, I can risk. If I'm disappointed, it's no biggie because it's a $10 lot of books, you know, so I want some reader stuff. And I bought a lot of readers. You know, what I did uh, in early uh, 2009 was I went back and I bought a lot of stuff that, you know, a lot of stuff that came out in. 2000 to 2008 that I didn't have like Goon, Chu, a lot of the modern books that um, you know that I missed that I heard was good and worth reading so I bought a lot of that stuff and 
Sometimes I bought reader's copy, poor condition, I don't care. You know, no returns, no big deal. You know, I, I just want to read them. So, the more... Uh, and, then, and then on a few occasions, when the package arrived really poorly packed, I did go through the system and get my refund. At, at least on one or two occasions where there was a no return policy, but when the book came, it was just like in the worst condition and it was just poorly packed and the, the postman just mangled the heck out of it. Or the post office, not the postman. Who knows who managed what or when. But, so, I got the confidence that, hey, you know, okay, the system is working. Perhaps I can dip my toes into something more expensive. That's something that's not reader stuff, so right away, okay? Two bad deals, two bad deals right away when I did that. You know, what a surprise, right? I mean, when you're doing $10, $15 stuff, eBay will help you out. But when you start to get into the $100 stuff, oh, well, somehow the, the, the fees start to matter, I guess to them. Anyhow, here's one example. So I bought a book uh, against all of my common sense, okay? You know, sometimes when you're a collector, you, out, you went out there and you buy stuff, and go, oh, you see something you want, and you're like, okay, bad pictures, no back cover uh, scan, the hell with that, I, I want it, I want it, okay? So, so I, I bought up a book without the back cover pictures. It was listed as 9.0. So I bought it. I got the book in hand. Awful. Okay. The the picture hides. It was taken at an angle that you couldn't see the big three inch crease on the front cover. Okay. In hands, you see it. It's like a big old three inch crease on the cover. And the back covers have all kind of problems. The book is at best, I say 6.5. Okay. Maybe 7. But at best, I'm saying 6.5. Um, so it was nowhere near 9.0. So I contacted eBay. Of course, of course I contacted the, the seller first. He's just like, screw you, you know, there's no return. Go away. Don't waste my time. So I go through eBay and I say, okay, here, here we have a, a situation where I bought something. The picture only showed one picture. It was not as described. I, I took a bunch of pictures. And I said, I took a bunch of pictures of the book on the back cover. So if you want to see what the book is, I'd be happy to email it to you, eBay, so that you can see it for yourself that at a certain angle, you can see the big three inch crease on the front cover as well as all the flaws on the back cover. So whatever that the guy showed on his listing hides everything and it, it, it's definitely not what it's supposed to be, okay? Two days later, eBay say, no, they close the case, you get no refund, this is not our problem, bye bye. That's it. There was, there was, <laughs> I tried to call them, they, wanna, they don't want to hear any of it. Okay, so that's first lesson. The second lesson was practically a few uh, weeks later which I should have known. After that one incident, I should have stayed clear um, of buying anything that have no return policy because it's, it should have, the bell should have been ringing in my head that, uh, you know, on cheap stuff, maybe eBay will play with you, side with you, but when it comes down to bigger dollar books and the fees start to matter, they might not be so cooperative. So I bought another book. Here's we go again. They add, well, actually, this one have a clear front picture, okay, no crop picture, the, the picture look pretty good. The ad say, I bought this book uh, 40 years ago, put it in the bag, been there for 40 years, never taken out, only took out for this one picture, okay, so it's near mid plus, beautiful. It was uh, like $90. Uh, or, yeah, it's about $90, I believe. And so, I bought it. It, it got to me. There was no return policy. So I bought it. it I, I received it. A few, you know, a few days later. Over a week later, actually, my fault. Because I was, you know, here's the other cardinal uh, rule that I broke. 
when you get the book, take it out right away, examine it. You know, I was busy with life doing something, so I'm just like, I got the package. It looked, I took it out, it looked good. I put it down, and then I basically went on to do other things and didn't remember to take it out and examine it closely, you know. So a week later, I took it out, turned over the back cover. Near mint plus, nah. There was a big old tear on the back cover. At best, uh, maybe eight five. You know, it's no near mint anything. Okay. So I was pretty bummed out, but once again, I contacted the seller to say that you know I got your book. I was disappointed. I found out that there's a tear on the back cover. Right away. He said, no way, there's no tear, you need to tell yourself, don't try to scam me, no, it's not my fault, blah, blah, blah. He went on basically accusing me of being the one that ripped the book up and then now trying to return the book. I'm like, okay, so I went through eBay, opened the case, all that stuff, and they didn't want to hear any of it. You know, they just, once again, they sided with the seller. I'm just like, listen, the listing showed no back cover, so where's the proof that the, the, the tear was done by me? If the, if the back cover was so perfect and flawless like he claimed it was, why did he show the picture of the back cover? On top of that, he claimed that he hadn't looked at the book for 40 years. So how did he know what's on the back cover? For all, it could be an honest mistake that he bought it off the rack, didn't look in the back to see that it was a tear, and then he put it in the bag, and then all that stuff. It could be an honest mistake, but the fact that he claimed that he has not looked at the book for 40 years, and not took a picture of the back cover, how is it my fault that I tear the back cover? Or oh, it's just crazy stuff. But that's so that was the second consecutive mishap that I had with eBay as far as buyer protection. I got zip. Uh, so, my advice for all of you guys out there is to stay away from buying people that don't let you return stuff because at the end of the day, it's not worth the hassle. Okay, nothing is so, nothing is must have. Okay, so just move on. You see, you see a listing, no return, move on. Next, okay, that's how I am now. After those two events, I'm like, no more. Okay, I got a few favorable ruling in the early days, and it sucked me in that somehow eBay is gonna protect me. They protect nothing but their pocket, okay? Get it, I get it now. Thank you, I learned, lesson learned. Twice, first time, shame on me, shame on you. I don't know <laughs> what the whole saying is, but after two mishap in a row, I'm done. Well, anyhow, I um, hope the, the video helps some of you out there. And uh, hopefully the next time you see me in front of the camera, I will tell my horror tales of what happened in 2003. <laughs> that really uh, gave me a good kick out of the hobby for a good six years because it was brutal. Uh, and it also involved eBay and PayPal. What a shocker! I should stay away from eBay and PayPal altogether, you know, but uh, luckily, uh, you know, these days, if I don't have to use PayPal, in, f in fact, for my own uh, business and my wife's business, we use Square. They should hire me to do a commercial because I love Square. Forget PayPal. Anyhow, thank you. Until next time.